Oh, there we go, my traps just decided to get poof, but here again for another attempt at the lame aspect of Tertis. Um, kinda messed up three times, like the first round was a test run. So, um, just gotta be a bit more careful and just like relax. Like, there's not really... Like, it's, it's kind of difficult, he doesn't give you too many openings. And if you get hit by one or two hits, it's pretty, pretty deadly. So you have to be careful. So your best bet, at least as a ranged character, I, I can't imagine that melee classes have a lot more trouble here. But on the other hand, if you like focus him into melee combat, it's probably not that difficult either. Because his melee moves didn't seem that like unpredictable. But I'm kinda curious what will happen. There we go, and I got hit. That's my angle. Fire breath, crouch. Yeah. Um I'm kinda curious what will happen if he drops below the I wanna go here. That's a pretty good move there. He gives a large opening there. What is he meleeing there? I'm not even there. What the fuck? There is will he yeah. So apparently every time he does this dash thingy, um he will emit this sort of flame ring. Ouch, ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. I'm gonna heal myself up but at least. Don't wanna die again. There we go. And another dash. I guess I can use my Thunder Rain after this one. Shit, and I picked the wrong direction. Maybe I can turn him around. Meh, kinda wasted it. Just relax, I guess, and chill. Take a bit of time for the boss. It's not really that hard. It's just like one mistake resets his HP counter, and it's really annoying because you have to go through the whole process again. I'm kinda, like I said, curious about the what happens after he drops below 15 HP Mars. But I will see I guess soon. So I'm not too far away. Should I have to reload? I will wait. There we go. Save loadings here. What I can tell you compared to the um, sky aspect, this is a lot easier, at least for now. While the sky one gives you a bit of a better opportunity to launch with the skills, um, it's really really annoying with the um, lightning, like if you have folly boss you know what I'm talking about, if not, um, the sky aspect summons sort of like melee, I don't know, like floating lightning attacks on the ground and they will stun you. And if, like they, they hover around, they move. And if you happen to be caught in one of these stuns, the boss will always launch like a volley of uh, ranged attacks, which will most likely instantly kill you. And like the stun doesn't last very long, however, it can just like stun you again and again and again. So if you happen to step into one of these like small floating lightning thingies, it can like stun you for several seconds and then in the debit in like you won't be able to escape out of the attack from the boss and he will kill you then. Which will result in a reset of his HP, which is pretty annoying. Well, luckily this boss doesn't really just do like this. Not really well. Anything similar here. Gonna see what happens in the bit. Like probably next attack, next few skills. Here we go, below 15%. What is he doing now? Nothing. Where is he? Yeah. Okay, I thought he would... Oh, oh, I see. That was different. So he changed his attack pattern. Oh, now he has his shield up. And I gotta break it, I guess, before he heals up too much. That wasn't too hard, though. So that's apparently the HP region people were talking about. Oh, shit. Shoot. I jumped too late. There we go. 
I don't want to die. Oh, 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 perhaps under my feet. Oh, so we use a similar attack to the um, normal. Like to the. Um, how. Shit. Like to the how boss. Um, the. the Egos, I think it's called in Lunar Hell. That if he uses his AoE, you have to hide actually close to them to not get killed. Oh, that could have hurt again. Gotta be more careful. He's healing something. Can I get my fury up? Just use it, I guess. I wanna use. I wanna have his AoE again so I can use my Thunder Ring. There we go. That's pretty good. Maybe even shotgun but no, that's still that's a pretty high amount of damage you got there. So yeah, that's not too difficult at all, I would say. Like at least for range class well, that could have could have killed me actually. Like certainly melee classes will have a lot more trouble, I would say. But um, for now, it doesn't seem too difficult. At least compared to the Sky one, this is a walk on the park. Like this is pretty, pretty easy, straightforward. Just do this, do that. Probably won't be able to kill him. But that's gonna reload. Next time I have my Thunder Ring, he's probably dead. Two more HP marks to go. Yeah, I don't want to get hit by that either. There we go, shoot. Last two HP bars going down there. I'm not sure if I should wait for something. Well, just like do your AOE maybe. Oh, now. oh there we go, and that's pretty much it. This this should kill him. Yep. And actually did kill him. So what did he drop? Flame rubies. Makes sense. He's a flame element, a 30 XP book. Diamond chunks, a bit of gold, not really much. How much XP did we get? Nothing? Oh, yeah, okay. That's lame. And we got this ring here with some pretty weird stats, I guess. Anywho, um, let me see. How can I advance now? Is this, this is over? I don't actually know. No, probably not. I can just like talk to her and then. Yep. So, yeah, this is pretty much the first of the two bosses we have right now. Um, it's not too difficult, I would say, it takes a bit of practice, but um, this one is very, very easy compared to the Sky aspect. So if you want to farm this or try this out, go for this one first. The Sky one is really, really difficult. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about this boss, about the tower in general, feel free to comment and I'll make sure to answer your questions. Alright, see ya!